Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about the muscles of the gluteal region. So basically we will begin with the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus in terms of its origin, insertion, action and nerve supply. Then we will also discuss about the tensor fascia lata, piriformis, gemellus superior, gemellus inferior, obturator internus as well as quadratus femoris. So basically the muscles of the gluteal region they are divided into two groups the major muscles as well as the minor muscles when it comes to the major muscles of the gluteal region it includes gluteus maximus gluteus medius as well as the gluteus minimus and one more muscle that is the tensor fasciae lata and when it comes to minor muscles of the gluteal region they are six in number which includes the piriformis superior gemellae inferior gemellae obturator internus quadratus femoris as well as the obturator externus so the major muscles of the gluteal region they are larger in size and they are placed superficially compared to the minor muscles and they are also the the main extensor abductors as well as the medial rotators of the thigh when it comes to the minor muscles of the gluteal region they are smaller in size as well as they are placed deeply under the cover of the major muscles and they are the lateral rotators of the thigh and they also help in the stabilization of the hip joint now so now let's begin with the gluteus maximus in terms of its origin insertion action and nerve supply so beginning with the origin of the gluteus maximus the origin comes from the gluteal surface of the ilium as well as the outer slope of the dorsal segment of the ilium so basically what you need to remember is that it arises from the ilium we have the gluteal surface gluteal surface of the ilium we also have the outer slope as well as the dorsal surfaces of the sacrum and the ilium dorsal surfaces of the sacrum ilium as well as the outer slope of the ilium that's what you need to remember it arises from the ilium in terms of its gluteal surface outer slope of the ilium as well as the backward surface of the sacrum as well so that's about the origin of the gluteus maximus it is a quadrilateral muscle and what about the insertion the three-fourth of the muscle will insert into the iliotibial tract iliotibial tract three-fourth of this muscle will insert into the iliotibial tract and one-fourth of the gluteus maximus will insert into the gluteal tuberosity gluteal tuberosity that's where it will insert and what about the action it is the chief extensor of hip joint as well as it assists in the getting up from a sitting position what you need to remember is that it is the chief extensor of hip joint chief extensor of the hip joint and finally the nerve supply it is supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve which comes from the l5 s1 and s2 spinal segments nerve supply is by the inferior glute nerve inferior gluteal nerve arising from the l5 s1 and s2 sacral plexus so that's about the origin insertion action and nerve supply of the gluteus maximus now we'll discuss about the gluteus medius so what about gluteus medius gluteus medium medius is a fan shaped muscle and what about its origin it also arises from the gluteal surface of the ilium as well as between the anterior and the posterior gluteal lines as well same it arises from the gluteal surface of the ilium along with it arises from the anterior and the posterior gluteal lines anterior as well as the posterior gluteal lines that's where it will arise from and what about its insertion it is inserted into the oblique ridge on the lateral surface of the greater trochanter it is inserted into the greater trochanter that's what you need to remember greater trochanter of the femur in terms of an oblique ridge and finally the action of the gluteus medius it helps in the it is helping in the abduction of the hip joint abduction of hip joint as well as it also prevents the sagging of pelvis on the unsupported side like this pelvis it prevents its sagging of the pelvis sagging of the pelvis that's about the action of the gluteus medius and finally the nerve supply it is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve superior gluteal nerve arising from the L5 as well as the S1 spinal segment so that's about the glute medius and finally we'll go into the gluteus minimus gluteus minimus is also a fan shaped muscle and uh, about its origin it also arises from the gluteal surface of the ilium and as well as anterior and the inferior gluteal lines anterior and the inferior gluteal lines as well as the gluteal surface of the ilium also and what about its insertion it is inserted on the ridge on the lateral part of the anterior and the inferior 
gluteal lines of the trochanter. What you need to remember is just remember trochanter in terms of its anterior and the inferior gluteal lines. That's where gluteus minimus is inserted. And finally, the action of the gluteus minimus it is the abductor of the hip joint. Abductor. Abductor of the hip joint and it is also supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. Superior gluteal nerve, same the having the spinal segments of L5 and S1. So, this is about the origin, insertion, action, and nerve supply of gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, medius, and gluteus minimus. So, thank you guys, thank you for watching video till the end. Please make sure to watch another part of this video which includes all of the remaining muscles of the gamella superior, inferior, and other muscles of the gluteal region. So, make sure to watch the part 2 of this anatomy video. Thank you for watching.